Hello, my name is Maureen Maureen Charlton. I live in Cornwall in the UK. Today, I'm going to share some information which relates to promoting any business, charity, events, just some things to do and some things not to do. The wonderful thing about social media, you can promote whatever you want, um, as long as it meets their, the site's terms and conditions. But whatever you're promoting, be sure that you're passionate about it. For example, if you're promoting a business, make sure that you're passionate about that business. I mean, that could be selling washing machines. It could be um, a tool that you could use to get your promotions out. Whatever it is, be passionate about it, because if you're not passionate about it, you can't expect other people to be passionate about it. Whatever you're promoting, though, be sure it's about you. The reason why I'm suggesting this is if you're, for example, sharing a charity um, about homeless people and then a month later you want to share a charity about breast cancer or depression or to help people that, you know, have just been made redundant and they don't know what to do. You know, if they, if they recognise you, they, they will pay more attention. But if, for example, the previous month I was promoting a particular charity and then I change it the next month, it's, it's not going to kind of mix too well. So in other words, if you promote you and mention then my charity I am sharing this week or this month is, it doesn't matter if you change whatever your promotions are. Make it about you, <laughs> you. <laughs> Second thing that you need to acknowledge is whatever you're promoting, you need to add value. So let's say I was sharing um, a charity for homeless people. There's no point me just putting my link in there to the charity or my link in there for them to make a donation. You know, if I put some links in there that would help homeless people and perhaps put my story of when I was homeless and what it felt like, or maybe some tips for people to help homeless people, that will all add value to people that are homeless and people that support people that are homeless. I hope I'm coming across um, clearly. So for example, just a couple of things that I promote, I promote HEAL, I promote HEAL, because it helps people get, get getting started with their online business. And it, it starts with mindset, it start, then goes on to traffic, and it then goes on to conversions, i.e. following up. And people can get started for less than a one-off payment of $10 with that promotion, but it gives them knowledge. And then, you know, they can build on that knowledge no matter what business they're in. So I'm adding value. The other thing I promote is an autoresponder. That's a tool that they can use to send thousands and thousands of emails out each day to people that have shown an interest in whatever they're promoting. So again, I make it about me in my promotions, but I might give a how-to video to get started with using the tool, their autoresponder tool. Tips would add value. Um, you know, for example, I'm giving you some tips today. That adds value. But it's about me. I'm showing you some tips. So whatever I promote some tips on you a week later, you will remember me and possibly that you've got value from me. Be sure to make sure, be sure to ensure you are promoting to the right audience. Say, for example, if I'm promoting, um, let's say, dogs lost, there's no point in me going to people that have got cats but my promotion sorry i've got distracted here my promotions might be um a dog food site for natural food um and that might be my link so i want that to go to dog owners what not to promote 
do not promote scams. You know, if you've joined a site and you think, oh, am I going to get that money back? I paid for that. Don't promote it. You know, cut your losses um, because, you know, you are building trust with your audience. If you promote something that is not going to get what it delivers, people are going to be very disappointed and they won't even look at or open your emails. So never, ever give false information. You know, don't say, oh, I've earned 10 grand this month. If you haven't, you know, I see that all the time. And it's not so easy to build a business online. You know, there's a lot to learn, but can it be done? Yes, it takes time, it takes effort, yeah. and you've got to invest in you and your time as well. Not, not you know, you've got to invest your time and you've got to put a little bit of money aside, you know, to invest in yourself financially. You might not be able to do that today, but you will if you keep doing free traffic and stuff. Hope this sad value, please you know, leave a comment. Um, appreciate you. Bye for now.